This is part 10 of Angular 2 tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss the difference between HTML attribute and DOM property. First, let's understand what is DOM. When a web browser loads this HTML, it creates a DOM that looks like this. DOM stands for Document Object Model. Notice at the top of the DOM tree, we have the window object. Underneath that, we have the document object. And underneath that, we have the HTML object. This HTML object represents this HTML element right here. And underneath the HTML object, we have head and body objects, just like how we have head and body elements under the HTML element. And then underneath head, we have title. Similarly, underneath body, we have script and div. And under div, we have h1 object. So basically, you can think of this DOM as an API, that is application programming interface for this HTML. So we can use programming languages like JavaScript or JavaScript frameworks like Angular to access and modify these HTML elements using their corresponding DOM objects. So in other words, DOM contains the HTML elements as objects, their properties, methods, and events, and it is a standard for accessing, modifying, adding, or deleting HTML elements. In our previous two videos, we discussed interpolation and property binding. Here is an example for property binding, and this is an example for interpolation. If you notice both these examples, it looks like we are binding to disabled attribute of the button element, but that's not true. We are actually binding to disabled property of the button object in the DOM. Keep in mind, Angular data binding is all about binding to DOM object properties and not HTML element attributes. So the obvious question that comes to our mind at this point is, what's the difference between an HTML attribute and a DOM property? Attributes are defined by the HTML, whereas properties are defined by the DOM. Attributes initialize DOM properties. Once the initialization is complete, the attributes job is done and they effectively disappear after that. Property values can change, whereas attribute value can't. Let's actually prove this last point with an example. Within the view template of our app component, let's include an input element. Notice I have set the ID to input ID, type is text, and look at the value attribute here. I've set it to Tom. So the job of this value attribute of this input element is to initialize value property of the input object in the DOM. So at this point, let's run our application by pressing Ctrl F5. So notice within the text box, we see the value Tom. At this point, let's launch browser developer tools by pressing F12. And let's click on the console tab. Now what we want to do is retrieve the value of this input elements value attribute. To do that, we are going to make use of this ID of the input element, which is input ID. So within the console, we are going to use the get attribute method to get the value of the attribute value. You remember, we have initialized the value attribute to Tom, and that's what we see right here. So this is the value of the attribute value. Now we know there will be a corresponding value property for the input object in the DOM. Now let's try to get the value we have in that value property. Now to do that, again, we are going to use the ID of the input element. And this time, we are going to use the value property of the input object in the DOM. And again, even in that value property, we have a value of Tom. Now let's change the value that we have in the text box to Mary. Now let's try to retrieve the attribute value using get attribute method. Notice the value attribute still has Tom. And let's see what we have in the value property of the input object in the DOM. Notice the value property in the DOM has got the updated value. So keep in mind, property values can change, whereas attribute value can't. So here we've got two important points to keep in mind. HTML attributes and the DOM properties are different things. Angular binding works with properties and events and not attributes. In both these examples, disabled is DOM property and not attribute. 
Thank you for listening and have a great day.